Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have went anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for May 23rd through May 29th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored. I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Let's see what's going on with my intense, kind, sweet, lovable, passionate Scorpios. Show me spirit guides. What's going on with my intense, passionate, lovable Scorpios? Show me, spirit guys. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Scorpios? Show me what's going on with my Scorpio spirit guys. Let's see what you got going on, Scorps. Let's see. The star card. Ten of Pentacles. The lover's card. The four of cups. <sighs> and the five of cups. Well, you've got the star card here that is can be an Aquarius. But this is someone that is, uh, you're hoping for something. You're asking, you're looking, you're wishing, you're trying to manifest, you're trying to do everything. You are, you're, I love the star card. It's one, for me, one of my best cards. It's just a card of hope. How dare you have hope for this, right? This is hope for a situation, a relationship. Someone that is in your love space, you're hoping for them. And when I say you're hoping for them, um, something has happened here. I don't know what has happened, but something has happened here because the Ten of Coins is all about completeness. Um, something that is um, complete, um, something that you want. You're hoping, you're wishing for a relationship that um, moves to the next level. In other words, you might have, you're with someone and you may have been with this person for quite some time. You've been through the ups and the downs, the down, you know, the lows and the highs. You've been all around with them. Now you're hoping and you're wishing that now you can be smooth. Everything can be smooth. And now you guys can really, really enjoy life. That is what you want from this relationship or this person. Now you have the lover's card in the, in the middle of the reading. The lover's card can also represent a Gemini person. Could be anyone, but that's just who um, the lover's card represents. And the lover's card is all about being totally, you are in love with this person. But, you know, it's this is, a, and I feel it like this is such an intense relationship. This is very much a relationship that um, you want really, really badly. But like I said, you because you, you've already been there with this person. You guys have already been through the the, the bull. And you're hoping that it can move to the next level. But the lover's card is that you're incredibly in love with someone. And you're hoping that they make the decision to move with you. And when I say move with you, to start to build things with you um, and to create a relationship with you that evolves, that grows, that is um, makes um, that grows into a happily ever after. But, you know, you've shown them how much you love them, especially with the lover's card in the middle of your reading. The lover's card can also be a decision, and they need to make a decision. I think that you're there. You, They know you love them, but they're not quite there yet. And I'll tell you why, because here's this four of cups. That four of cups is the card of someone. Could be you, Scorp. I don't know, but I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I think this is the other person. Uh, someone that gives you love. But they, they don't give you all their love. They give you just enough to keep you hanging on. Someone that just keeps, that four of cups means they give you three cups, but there's always one cup left. And that one cup is their heart, their total heart. They don't give their total heart to you. They give you enough, though, and you and, and it's almost like it makes you fall in love with them even more because it's something that you don't have. It's something that you don't have. But here's what's interesting to me about this read. You end up this reading with this five of cups at the end. This person, 
at this point in this relationship, you're feeling um, down and out and depressed about this because, like I said, you've been through the storms with them. What more do they, you need to show them? And I think that's what you're saying to them. What more do I need to show you for you to be our happily ever after, for you to ask, even ask for my hand in marriage? What else do I need to show you? Because here is this five of cups. You're depressed. You're feeling down. You're feeling regretful, remorseful. And it's almost like I think you're feeling like, my good, what the heck? What, what more? What more do I need to show you? I've shown you. We've been through the storms together. What more do I need to show you? Now, here's the three cups down, Scorp. And I always show this because there's three cups down. And, you know, we can get into that depressive mode, that depressive state of thinking, oh, my, I don't know, you know, what else I can do or how I can move forward. But there's two cups behind you that are sitting up. So the universe always provides you with additional energy to come out of a depression. When it comes to something, in other words, there is something else here that can possibly pull you out of this state of depression. Now, let me read because I want to know what's going to happen. Is this person going to come around? Let's see what's going to happen. I really want to see what's going to happen. I see how you're feeling, but I don't know how what they're going to do. So if this is your read, sit back, relax, and let me clarify the read. Just give me three to five minutes. And let the uh, spirit guys clarify the read for you. You have the star card. The star card is leading this read. The star card is about hope. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? What's going to happen? Let's see the star card. Whomever I'm reading for. The star card. Show me why the star card is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the star card here? Oh, I have the five of wands. Conflict. And that's what's going on. I see what's going on too. There's like, it's almost because you want something. You you want to know what, what more do I need to show you? That's your wish card. That star card is there. But you got the five of wands. And the five of wands, like I said, you want to know what more do I need to show you? So there's conflict because you're asking them what more do I want do I need to show you? And let's see why is this ten of coins or ten of pentacles here. And so whenever you ask those questions, they get in their fields and they start mess. So let's see why this Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Coins is here. Oh, I have the Emperor card. Could be an Aries person. Can be an Aries person. But more importantly, this is someone that wants to control. Someone that wants to control. I almost see with this relationship, there's a battle going on. A control battle. Um, there's a battle that's going on. There's someone that wants to control this situation. And that's what's going on. It's a battle. Because you truly want to be with them, but yet they almost are telling you not now. I see them telling you not now. I'm not ready now, or I don't know if I'll ever be ready. I think that's what's going on. But let's see, why is the lover's card here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the lover's card here? You got the moon card. Oh, can be a Pisces person as well. You got a lot of major arcana showing up, though. You got the star, you got the lovers, you got the moon and the emperor. But the moon is, this person drives you crazy. You are crazy also in love with this person. The moon is all about illusions, uh, you know. Maybe you're, you're dreaming or maybe you think this person feels the same way about you. Or maybe they do and they're just, they drive you just back flap crazy because they don't make a decision to be with you yet you love them and you don't know which way to go and that lover's card means you are incredible you're in love with them you are in love with them but they have not made a decision yet on you not saying that they don't love you but they've not made a decision so let's see why the four of cups is here show me spirit guys why is the four of cups here two of wands it's almost like, you know, the two of wands is the beginning. It's the beginning. It's like almost for you and this person, even though you've been through the storms with them, they always slow it down. They always say, let's, st you know, they want to start at the beginning again. They want to start and take baby steps. Even after you've been through all this mess with them, even after you've stuck in there with them, they want to take baby steps. The two of wands is here. Let's take baby steps till we get to where we need to be. You've already gone through the storms with them. You know where you need to be. You know what you want. But they want to take baby steps with that two of wands. It's the beginning. That's the thinking of what they're going to do. You're ready. So let's see why the five of cups is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the five of cups here? Show me. So I've got the ace of pentacles. 
Now, the Ace of Pentacles means abundance. It means abundance. But you see the Ace of Pentacles um, is next to a Two of Wands. And then you have a Four of Cups and a Five of Cups. I do believe with this person, maybe, perhaps, just, just think about this. They may not be ready because they may not feel like they have enough money to take care of you. Maybe they don't give everything to you because they're holding back. Because they don't feel like they are abundant yet. And they almost, you know, it can bring depression. But I think both of you guys are in that state. But one of you have got to come out of that state of depression so that you can move on. Because money is not going to beget the relationship. But you do mo need money. Love won't just make it. But this person I see, I think they're holding back somewhat. Because they want to be abundant. They want to have money. They want to be able to take care of you. And maybe that's why they're holding back. They're beginning, though, I think, with this two of wands. Um, they're beginning... They want you just to hold off just a little bit, but they're beginning to make those moves to know those money moves. That's what I see. But it's depressing you because you're ready. You're ready. But let's see the star card is hope. All about hope. This Aquarius could be an Aquarius, but you're having conflict with them because you know you're ready to move to the next level. You've been through the highs and lows, the ups and downs all around, and you've stayed there with them. So the Ten of Coins or the Ten of Pentacles is here. This is what you want. Because you're ready to move to the next level because you've already been through everything else. Here's the Emperor card here. The Emperor can be an Aries person, but the Emperor is all about control. They want to control this situation, which is really hard for you, Scorpio, to release that like that. But it really kind of is. You can't make someone want to go to the next level or be or, or you know marry you or whatever. But here's the Lover's card, which means can be a Gemini person too, but um, can be anyone. Remember, this is a general read, but these are just the people that are showing up, the zodiac signs that are showing up. The lover's card. The lover's card is being incredibly in love, just in love with someone. And then the moon, they drive you crazy. I mean, you know, they drive you crazy because you know why? You ready. You're ready. You're ready to move to the next level. But the four of cups, they only give you, they don't give you all of their love. They're not asking for your hand in marriage. They're right here at the beginning again. It's like they're starting over again, but they really aren't. I don't think they're starting over again. I think they're beginning to have abundance and they want to be able to give you your needs. You need to have conversation with them and say, I understand if you want to wait for them because the five of cups is depression. I think they're depressed too because they don't have the funds in order to uh, move to the next level. But I th I'm, I'm sure they will, Scorpio. And I think you should just sit back and relax and let it build. And I know that's difficult, especially when you've been through the storms. But you've already been through mess with them. So why not wait for it? Why not reap your reward? Why not reap your reward? So let's see what my um, African queen goddesses have to say. What do they have to say? Okay, so I have queen... Najami desire and I know what your desires are Scorpio I know what you want and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and I think the universe is going to deliver to you you just got to be patient 